this definitely is one of the most interesting products I've reviewed in quite a while. It's not a smartwatch, not a phone, but a smartwatch and a phone. The Cosped Optimus Pro is a smartwatch running with two independent operating systems powered by two independent processors. This device was built with an ultimate motive of replacing your regular phone. But did they succeed is something that we're going to talk in this video. The cool part is that this device can perform almost any task like any other Android phone. From shooting photos, videos, doing some browsing and even Google Maps. Apart from all these cool features, the device is also capable of supporting any Android app. But with some restrictions. That is most of the apps on the Play Store aren't designed for smaller screens. So you're gonna be totally fine until you use the native Android Wear supporting applications. Now, talking about the software, like I already mentioned, you get both the regular Android Wear OS and the Cospit's own Lite OS. Probably only fitness freaks would love the Lite OS. Otherwise, it's just not that important. While you're on the long standby mode or the Lite OS mode, you'll still keep getting notifications. But Cospit has done some hack in order to reduce the load on the processor. That is the WeWatch 2 app on your regular phone does all the hard work to transfer notifications. The materials used to build a smartwatch are pretty premium. The device is well built. Even the buttons are tactile and rigid. There is no way this is going to make you feel any cheap. So design wise, I really don't have any complaints. The most attractive aspect of this smartwatch is that you get the amazing AMOLED Retina display. It is 1.39 inches in size and packs over 372 pixels per inch. The colors do pop out and the contrast is well calibrated. Usually I have this one common issue with smartwatches that they do get heated a lot while trying to charge them. Luckily the pins on the magnetic holder provided with the Optimus Pro functions really well. Unlike the other smartwatches, there is no unconditional thermal situations while charging them. The battery life is good enough to get over an entire day. On testing the device, it gave me over 3 days of standby time with running the Android OS. And give it or take, I got over 4-5 to five days with the Lite OS. In spite of the brilliant battery life with the Lite OS, you do get to lose a lot of cool stuff about having an Android Wear. The downfall about battery performance was with the charging time. It took me over 45 minutes to charge from 0 to 50%. That becomes pretty annoying when you have to completely rely on a smartwatch. One thing I definitely hate about this smartwatch is the custom skin it runs on. The amount of time and thought process that this company has put into the hardware and the externals should have been given to the software too. Everything good about the smartwatch lies under the hood. The device is powered by 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal memory. That is pretty good to offer a fluid experience. In fact, I didn't see any flicker or lag using the smartwatch. Also, there are two processors, one for the basic task and the other being a quad-core MediaTek processor for overloads. There is an internal algorithm that tends to shift the programs between these two processors, which simultaneously helps to increase the battery life significantly and maintain sustainable performance. The device has an inbuilt 8 megapixel camera, which is absolutely good. The colors are well maintained and the contrast is not hyped. For a smartwatch, the camera performance is beyond expectation. You also get a SIM slot on the back of the smartwatch. Just plug in a SIM and there you go, a smartphone in the attire of a watch. Like any other smartphone, you can start making calls and texting people. You can either use the inbuilt speakers and microphone or instead pair up with a Bluetooth earphone. As the speakers fail to perform on streets with plenty of people, so it is better to stay connected with a wireless earbud while you're traveling. Unlike the Huawei watches, the Cospit Optimus Pro doesn't have continuous heart rate monitor, which is a pretty downfall considering that almost every other smartwatch in this price tag tends to cast this feature. The Cospit Optimus Pro is great as a smartphone, but serves lower as a fitness tracker or as any other regular smartwatch. Definitely if you're planning to get this as a replacement to your smartphone, then you're gonna love it. 
also know that the fitness app that comes with the Cosbit Optimus Pro is pretty bad. It doesn't use your GPS hardware to give you readings. So it's better to use a third party app or the Google Fit app. Also another important aspect is that this smartwatch has IP67 rating which means it can survive when dropped into a body of water but only up to a certain meter. I definitely love the fact that the Cosbit decided to give you an Android Wear OS instead of just forcing a complete light OS smartwatch. Currently you can purchase the Optimus Pro for $170. I would also like to keep it transparent to my viewers that the link in the description is an affiliate link and if you can purchase through that it's going to help my channel grow anyways thanks for watching usually droid sector astroly this life